Hey there everyone, my name is WBuild, and welcome back to their Minecraft video. So today we're going to be going over five traps, and I'll show you how they work. Let's get right into this. So the first trap that we're going to be going over is extremely simple. So a lot of people have this type of thing in their house where they have a pressure plate on each side of a door. Like that. But you can simply rig this up in such a way that like um they like if they if they're used to doing having that then you can just put some rails under here with under the pressure plate and put some mine carts on those rails. So you're gonna wanna put a ton on each side, maybe like four or five on each side. Then, when they walk into their house, you'll see there's an instant explosion. They'll get blown up if they're in survival. So, I, at the end of the video, I will show you all these in survival. But, let's move on to the next one. So, this is a tree trap. There's lots of these, but they normally aren't as powerful as this. This is the same concept as the last one. Except there's an observer under here. So basically, one tick after you break this log right here, you will explode. Once again, all of these make huge craters, so don't do these on servers where people won't find that as funny. This next one does not involve TNT. Actually, you need to go into survival for this one. So... What it is, is it is a bunch of infested stone bricks. You can actually do some survival, it's just quite hard. So I'll actually show you that right now. If you have, if you find them, you break out all the blocks around them, you can use a piston to push them to where you want to go. And the more you do, the better this effect will be. But see, you can push them around. So... Once, when the person walks into their house... Oh, wait, you want to put swordfish there. Sorry. Wait, there's a swordfish in here. Perfect. Alright, that's the last two blocks. So, they'll come in, they'll see a silverfish. They'll then attack the silverfish, and more silverfish will start like, popping out of their house. Like this. It's... Um... Uh, yeah, you can just see this. Now that, that the entire house is basically gone. You can see how that would be very, very annoying. Okay. The next one I'm gonna actually turn up my volume for. Actually, no, I'm not. Because then you all are gonna be very... annoying. This is... Another very simple one. Go into someone's house. Fill their ceiling and their floor with chickens. Like a ton of chickens. And then if they have their volume on at all, it'll be very annoying. Of course, the higher the volume is, the more annoying it will be. And now this last one is probably the most complicated, so I will show you how to build this. But first, let's go over how it works. It is a landmine. So, you can sort of see this piece of string right there. But if I walk on this piece of string, it will explode. And now this will kill anyone, like just the, the other ones will, even if they have god armor on. So, yeah. I will now show you how to build that, and then I will have show you how to do all of these in... Uh, or how, how they all work in survival. Okay, so to build this, you're going to want to put a sticky piston like this, with a block of redstone next to it powering it, and a block of obsidian like that. Two slime blocks in front of that, so you get this type of setup. Now, put a block of sand, or sandstone, whatever block you want right there, really. Now place two rails like this, 
and break the top round one. Place a block of sand right here. This is the only one that really has to be sand. So just that one, remember, or you can also be gravel or concrete powder, but it has to be a gravity block. Okay, so put a piece of string on top of there. Now you can go ahead and fill all of this stuff right here in. And then leave this block open and these, and this one. Head on in here. So place one. Then if you look at this hitbox for the rail, you can just hold down and place more. The more you place, the darker that shadow will get. And then fill that in. Now, to prime your system, you want to break this redstone block. Now, the system is primed. So from like this distance, you, unless you zoom in, you can't really see it. But from about there, it just looks like it's part of the texture. Now, if you walk on this piece of string, of course you will explode. And that's the point. Okay, now I will show you them all in survival. Okay, so here we are in survival mode, and we're going to be going up to the first one. So, if we walk into the house, we die instantly. So, let's move on to this, the next one, which is the tree. So if we break this bottom block right here, just trying to get wood, once again, we instantly die. And finally, the landmine. I'll bet you can guess what's going to happen here. We are most likely going to die unless... Well, yeah, we're going to die. So let's just get over to it. And walk. We instantly die. That's basically how all the TNT ones work. The one with the chickens and the one with the silverfish are the same as last time. But if you want, I can show the chickens you in survival. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I am W Builds. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never sat on another Minecraft video. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!